Hello, hello, I'm Camille and this is Random Games Generator where we make games and today I'm gonna show you how to create this portal effect and I use it in my game so you can check it out in the description box uh, but let's get to it. Oh and I won't be explaining the process step by step because that would be a waste of your time and uh, I will talk about crucial stuff to make it look good. I will start with uh, the texture and I will use Krita which is free painting program uh, to do that and that is because it's free and it's cool and everyone can follow this kind of tutorial. The idea is simple, um, I'm gonna create three layers, each for one color, red, green and blue, and I will on each layer paint another part of this portal. So the first one will be core, and this will be covered in red color, and the second one will be this uh, vortex uh, outer rim sort of which I will paint with green color and the last one is going to be all those flyaways and sparks uh, that will be painted with blue color. I think the most important thing about that is the twirl filter, uh, which you can find basically in every editing program and in Krita it's kind of hidden and it's hidden under filter start G, M, I, C, Q, T, whatever that means and that opens a window with custom filters and you can just search for twirl and you'll find it and in order for the texture to work we need to set all those layers to additive or add depends on your painting program blending mode now oh, if something is not clear or you feel lost with the process, I just, you know, pause the video, it's all there, I did not skip anything. step of creating this vortex is going to be creating material and the most important thing about this material is probably the rotate node that we're gonna use another kind of important thing is i wanted to have separate controls for each layer of this vortex and core has uh, the first layer second layer is this outer rim and the last layer are those sparks this material is really simple so you can you know pause uh, this video and just uh, bring it into your project
I created a material instance to meddle a little with uh, those parameters that I created and it starts to look kinda okay, but it lacks in depth, isn't it? So next step is going to be creating model of that vortex. I mean, it's going to be just, uh, you know, some concave plane, but it's going to do the job. Okay, that already looks better. And before I move to that part where I create a particle effect and a presentation scene, I create my own project, which is called Random Thing. And if you'd like to know more, you can always uh, click on the links uh, from the description box and maybe wishlist that game. Yeah, right. Let's go back to the video. VFXs, VFXs, VFXs. Um, yeah, they are quite artsy and they require a lot of nudging here and there. Uh, they are not this technical. I mean, they are, but still, they are artsy. And uh, yeah, you create them mostly by experimenting. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I will experiment the hell out of them.
Okay, so I guess that's it. It looks kind of okay. And uh, yeah, you're welcome. You can use it in your own projects. And uh, you can always support me by wishlisting that game. And uh, yeah, that's it. See you later.